From the murky waters of the sportsman's paradise, stories emerge. Stories of the generations of people who have shared in the bounties of the land. Stories of communities that have persevered through natural disasters. Stories of the abundance of fish, wildlife, and adventures that create an ecosystem rich in diversity. And from the silted banks of the mighty Mississippi to the soggy marsh bottoms, from the tops of the towering pine forest to the depths of the salty gulf, human and animal have shared in this fortune for centuries. Enjoy these stories as told by outdoor journalists who travel across our state documenting the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. Welcome to Bayou Wild TV, I'm Don DeVue. And I'm Martha Spencer. This week we take you to Shell Beach, Louisiana with Captain Jonathan Sanchez. You've had it happen, mm -hmm. Martha, I've had it happen, and so do a lot of the viewers who don't fish that frequently. You've got bad weather coming, you know it's coming, but you've got a small window of opportunity to make it happen. We'll show you how to do that. Then we're going to go freshwater fishing with the crappy psychic on Lake Buck. We're going to learn some of his secrets and some of the tricks he uses to make sure you catch some sockeye. And we take you here in the kitchen right here at Morton Seafood Restaurant in Madisonville for a redfish dish with Chef Nick Palmasano. All coming up on Bayou Wild TV. All right, you know, that happens to everybody. You got a fishing trip planned and the weather starts coming in. You got just a couple of hours to make it happen. That's what we're trying to do, get it to work. Here we go, Jonathan, another redfish. Generally, I try to stay relatively close, but yeah, that don't usually work out. Especially on days like today, at least we have water we can work with. Just go find you some ponds, some windblown shorelines. They got some bait in there, it'd be a, a good plus. Uh, cast up to the bank and hold on. Goldfish. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil, for great crawfish every time. In 1967, Dutch Stogner realized his dream to run his own meat market. 50 years and three generations later, Double D and the Stogner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get deliveries seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. And Martha, you've had it happen, I've had it happen. A lot of the viewers regularly who fish and those who don't fish so regularly, you got a trip plan, a long awaited trip. You've been trying to get in and the weather is turning bad. But you've got a small window of opportunity to get out early before that weather comes in. Today we're gonna to take you to Shell Beach with Captain Jonathan Sanchez and show you how to make that trip successful. All right, you know, that happens to everybody. You got a fishing trip planned and the weather starts coming in. You got just a couple of hours to make it happen. That's what we're trying to do, get it to work. Here we go, Jonathan, another redfish. Generally, I try to stay relatively close, but yeah, that don't usually work out. Especially on days like today, at least we have water we can work with. Just go find you some ponds, some windblown shorelines. They got some bait in there, it'd be a, a good plus. Uh, Cast up to the bank and hold on. Ooh, another good one. Yeah, yeah, don't pump. Yeah, 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 Two foot under a cork, dead shrimp. That's 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 the ticket. That's the A A game, B game, and C game. Backflip. What are your thoughts on when 
pressure's dropping and you know a storm is coming, they say that the fish feeding increases. Do you find that to be true? At times, I do, absolutely. And then uh, you know, I guess you get that once in a blue moon, yeah, they just don't want to cooperate for nothing. But for the most part, yeah, yeah, that's, I, I, I definitely agree with it. Goldfish. Nice. Mm hmm. All right, Aiden, we're just about there. Just about there. <laughs> Whoa, he may be going the other way, huh? No, nope, he's only here. He can't make up his mind. Oh, 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 oh. I think we got him. Ah, yes, we do. <laughs> All right, good job, Aiden. Good job on another big redfish. And who would have thought on a day like today? Well, in that case, a lot of times you want to stay till it's absolutely the last, last two second. minutes and you want to get out of there. <laughs> what do you use as a general feel to, to when it's time to go and when it's time where you can stay a little longer? Well, it all just depends on how far away from the dock you are, which, which direction it's coming from, granted. But uh, I ain't going to lie, I'm, I'm terrible at it. I usually stay five minutes too long. I'm making it to the, do to the bayou here and it starts to come down raining on me. Now back in the day when I used to write for newspapers and magazines, I'd write thousand word stories and get a few pictures to support it. Now with 20 Echo technology, I take one picture, smile Mr. Joe, and that is worth a thousand words. Like you said, you just gotta use your best judgment, you know? When the lightning starts cracking, it's time to roll. That <laughs> Boy, he's all over the place, huh? Yeah, there you go. You got fish and salad. Trout, they they not really stacked up anywhere yet. At least nobody uh, that I know have, has found them. Uh, but you, you'll probably come across a few trout, maybe one here, one there. But like I said, you're not really going to catch them schooled up. Most of the times, if I'm fishing in the marsh for the redfish, somebody will throw on a matrix shed and pitch it out back to the middle of the pond. You'll pick off a couple of trout here and there, you know. So, but they just ain't quite stacked up yet. <laughs> Goldfish. Well, that picture worth a thousand words, huh? Now, today's weather backed a lot of people off, but we managed to get a good trip in the couple hours we had to fish, and it was good. Aiden caught the fish of the day, a nice red. Good job, Aiden. People wanted to fish with me, and I had already had my captain's license because I had previously owned an airboat business. My customers can tell you that they get on a waiting list. They want to go out, they want to learn some of my techniques, and like I've told you before, I'm not the best. I don't claim to be the best. You know, they just want to see some of my techniques because I'm a little different than most of those other guys in the way I fish them and how I fish them.
find out if alternative treatment is the answer to your pet's health issues. Contact Dr. G at VetNaturally.com. In 1967, Dutch Stogner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stogner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. Crappie, Sokolé, White Perch. No matter what you call them, one thing is true. They may be the most treasured panfish in the water. All right, first cast and a nice crappie, Sokolé, White Perch. A lot of names for them and a lot of ways to fish them. Today, we're fishing them crappie psychic style. But for Clyde Fultz, crappie is a way of life. Well, the crappie psychic, uh, basically the company was named by my son. And actually, the business was started by him just being adamant about us doing it. I had made these trailers and was using them for two years, and him and I were just annihilating the Sokolé. Oh, yeah. Getting a little bigger. And one day we were leaving a boat launch again with an ice chest of fish, and everybody else didn't have that many, and my son said, Dad, we should, uh, we should start a company and help people catch more Sokolé. And uh, we went with the crappie psychic, he had named me the Sokolé Psychic when he was 10 years old, but we chose crappie because it's the real name of the fish, and of course we're in stores now across the country, so people know what a crappie is, whereas you get above Alexandria and you say Sokolé, and a lot of people don't even know what you're talking about. All right, another nice Sokolé. Gonna be some good frying up tonight. It wasn't long until the crappie Psychic caught the eyes of other fishermen first started, it was just the crappie trailers. And it was only like four colors. A lot of saltwater guys were like, hey, okay, you, you know, you're obviously a freshwater guy. What are you going to do for us? So that's when the trout trailers were born. And they're an enhancer, just like our crappie trailers. You use whatever bait you like to use. You just hang this scented trailer on there, and it helps produce a, a more, more of a catch, more fish. It, it entices them to hit harder, to strike harder. It entices them to hold on because it, you know everything we make is scented with our psychic sauce. And then we came out with our ammo, our crappy ammo, which is our version of the power baits, the niblets, so to speak. And we just came out with those last year, and that's a big hit uh, because you use them along with the trailers, and they're heavily scented with our psychic sauce. And then we also have the mega trailers, you know, are really good for offshore. Red Snapper, Cobia. So that, and that's what they were initially created for, was the offshore guys. And when the bass fishermen seen them, they said, hey, we need this bait in Watermelon Red and June Bug. And so that's how they got started, you know, transitioning over to the bass fishing side. If you travel through the bayous of Lake Buff on any given day, you're sure to spot the crappy psychic in his bright green shirt and pole in hand. Captain Clyde also enjoys sharing his passion for crappie with others. People wanted to fish with me. And I had already had my captain's license because I had previously owned an airboat business. And my customers can tell you that they get on a waiting list. They want to go out, they want to learn some of my techniques. And like I've told you before, I'm not the best. I don't claim to be the best crappie fisherman out there. I mean, I catch my fair share. But I have some pro staff crappie guys that are really good fishermen. You know, they just want to see some of my techniques because I'm a little different than most of those other guys in the way I fish them and how I fish them. But those different techniques all start with a combination of a weighted jig head, crappie jig, trailer, and ammo slathered in psychic sauce. Yeah, 
took my picture of this beautiful sockeye. We're going to log it into 20 Echo to get all the details on the spot where we caught our fish. The biggest thing for crappie fishing is barometric pressure. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, what, what you need is a, a falling barometric pressure. That's the number one thing. And the second thing is a moon phase. Your two best moon phases is the full moon and the new moon. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing the differences that makes. So that's what makes them very finicky. Clyde's not alone with his passion. It takes a family to be a psychic. This is a family affair. We could not do this business without the whole family. Starting from the very top, my son. My son is, he's in the shop. He's the one making the baits. He's the one um, tinkering with the recipes. Um, everything that is made out of that shop comes from my son, which used to be, that all used to be on Clyde. My daughter, she is mostly, she bags mostly all the product. Um, now she's starting to take on because we just got a brand new website so now she's starting to take on learning to take the orders and fill them off the website because I'm definitely going to need help with that. This company would not operate without the whole family involved and that's where I'd like to be. So in the background more, not so much in the forefront. But I also love giving seminars too. I really have a knack for getting on the stage, talking to people and, and you know, giving away a lot of my secrets and things I've learned in the last 30 years about soccer fishing. Right into the living room. He is indeed obsessed with soccer. We had a great trip out there on Lake Buff. And coming up next, uh, Martha, you like grilled redfish? Absolutely. Everybody does. Who doesn't? we got a great dish to take you back into the kitchen with Chef Nick Palmasano and show you how to fix up your redfish. I'm just going to put a couple of green onions over the top. It goes out to the table with lemon and parsley. And that's our dish. Well, let's give it a try. Let me know how I did. Closed captioning made possible by CETO.com. Become a member. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy. Just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. We are deep in the kitchen of Morton Seafood Restaurant with Chef Nick Palmasano. Nick, what are we going to be cooking this morning? Uh, this morning we're going to be cooking one of our signature dishes here at Morton Seafood. We're going to be cooking our grilled redfish on the half shell, topped with our homemade lemon compound butter. It's going to be served with a side of our sweet yam medallions and our wilted spinach. All right, well show us all about it. How do we get started with it? All right, well the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our fish. We have our 8 ounce Louisiana redfish to scale on. We're going to go ahead and put it on our preheated grill. I'm going to go ahead and baste it with some garlic butter. Can we salt and pepper, please? All righty, here we go. I'm going to salt and pepper the fish. It's a real easy way. Put a lid on it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the fryer. We have our yams hand sliced and they're parboiled in our same seasonings that we use the uh, crawfish. We're just going to go ahead and put these in the fryer. Next step is we're going to get our spinach ready. Ladle of butter. I'm going to let this heat up just for one second. Can I add the garlic please? I'm gonna let that garlic cook till it's just a little aromatic. While we're waiting on that, I'm gonna check my fish. I'm gonna rebaste it. Put the 
cover back on it. Butter should be heating up. The yams are cooking. So I'm just wilting the spinach here. Just a little salt and pepper. One more pop. We get our plate. Start plating our sides up. So I'll come back one more time, check the fish. Baste it one last time. Now you said you just kind of wilted the spinach. How yep. do you know when it's time to pull it out? Um, it's really, it's, it's, it's just, it's a fast. It's, you're just really just wilting. I mean, it's about a 30 seconds. We're not trying to saute it. We're just giving it just a little bit of texture. So our yams are finished. This is our yam glaze. We make this in house. This is simple syrup with uh, cinnamon and nutmeg. Now, like I said before, these are pre-sliced and they're boiled in the same, with the same seasonings that we use our seafood with. So they're a little spicy, and then we spray the glaze on them, and it gives them a little sweet flavor too. So they have a little heat and they have a little spice. Redfish is almost done. I'm just letting this yam glaze kind of cook into the yams just a little bit. And really, we're almost done at this point. Now, how long do you go on those yams, both in the fryer and on the grill? On the grill, about a minute and a half. In the fryer, probably about between two and three minutes, um, depending on the, the size of them. And what do you want them to look like? Should they be loose and moist or should they be kind of firm? Um, well, when they come out the fryer, they're a little firm, but then they get a little more, they get a little loose as you put the uh, yam glaze in them. Mm -hmm. So they will be nice and tender. We're gonna take this. So timing is pretty important on this, that you get everything kind of at the yes. right time at the right moment. Yes, sir. It is a three-part dish, so you have to fire everything in sequence. Mm -hmm. I mean, the important thing is you fire your fish first. That's what takes the longest. The sides are pretty quick, as you can see. Now, we're doing redfish, but could you use another fish in this place? Oh, yeah, we could, and we do from time to time. But um, this is one of our signature dishes. Not many restaurants over here serve redfish on the half shell. They do serve it grilled, but on the half shell kind of makes it stick out a little bit. I guess a drum would probably suffice if you got a drum about the same size. Oh yeah, yeah, a drum would be just fine. So the redfish is just about done. We're waiting to see it start flaking on the sides. And then we'll know it's completely done. As soon as we finish with that, I have my lemon compound butter right here that we make in-house. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the fish when it's nice and hot and it'll melt and it, it, by the time it makes it to the table, it'll be completely melted. All right, so it's critical to make sure that fish is not overcooked or, or undercooked. undercooked. What yeah. are you looking for to tell that? Well, what I'm looking for is just flaking around the outside of the edges. Mm -hmm. Once it starts to flake, you know the fish is done. It's really, this is an easy way to cook redfish. People could do it at home. You don't have to flip the fish at all. You just put it on the scales and you just put a lid over it. And your preparation on the redfish to get it to this point, pretty much just one cut, one fillet off and you leave the skin yep. and scales on? Yes sir, skin and scales on. Alright, we're just about there. When we come back, we'll show you the finished product. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana fish fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. It has more garlic, onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. It has much better flavor. Louisiana fish fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. In 1967, Dutch Stogner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stogner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Comes. Okay, so this is our finished product. We have our redfish with our yam medallions and our sautéed spinach. I'm just going to put a couple of green onions over the top. 
goes out to the table with lemon and parsley. And that's our dish. Well, let's give it a try. Let me know how I did. C'est bon. Time to get it out on the table. <laughs> now, this is a dish you serve regularly in a restaurant? Yes, sir. And also, it's one that you can do at home just as well? Yes, sir. It's very easy. I mean, you really can't burn it with the scales on it as long as you just don't put your grill too hot. All right. You can become a gourmet cook just like Chef Nick Palmasano here at Morton Seafood Restaurant. <laughs> Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. You don't want to miss next week's version of Bayou Wild TV. Chef John Fulce is going to teach us how to elevate our speckled trout with some red and gold beef. Yeah, so let's go ahead. I'm going to season. I do season my greens. Okay. That's just a little mixture of greens there, salt, pepper. You can just kind of stir that around a little bit. And I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, you can just kind of whack them around. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this vinaigrette. Use either a store-bought vinaigrette. This is a little uh, Creole mustard, a little uh, 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 lemon juice. It's a lemon vinaigrette. Now what we're going to do is just put that right in the middle of our plate, just right down there in the center, and just let it pile up right there. And what I'm going to do is take these beets, and I want to show you what happens to the plate when these beets start to fall on it. Once all of these beets fall on it here. It just became fine dining with those beets. Well, what it did, it just started to look like a dish Beautiful. that came out of a restaurant, and all it is is doggone little roasted beets, right? It's That's amazing it the color that comes out uh, of them. And look how gorgeous that is. And then, I want you to Again, just kind of touch that coating right there and see. Now, of course, I would just put one on for an entree like that. But, of course, we probably have company coming. So, <laughs> if they so, hurry up. <laughs> so we want to do that. And then I would just put a little parsley on top of it like that. I could even put a little bit of the vinaigrette on top of the fish as a sauce. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get deliveries seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. Coming up next week on Bayou Wild, we talk about the effects of opening the spillway and how it affects lake fishing. With one of the masters of Lake Pontchartrain, Captain Deadly Dudley Vandenborn. Then we take you back to the office to talk to his wife, Kim. We remind you that you can come out to Morton's and visit us 11 to 1, roughly, on most Mondays. Come out and have lunch with us. Also, follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and, of course, on YouTube, where all the episodes are aired in completion. And live on Saturday mornings on the Outdoors with Don Dubuque radio network.